Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So we were looking at exciting fights, boring fights, and mismatches. Sometimes a, a boring fight can be a mismatch, sometimes an exciting fight can be a mismatch. And we're looking at predicting them, right? So I gave you an assignment. We have three cards here. We have the one in uh, hosted by ESPN2. That will be on Friday. We have another one on Showtime. That will be the same Friday as well. And on Saturday, we got a big one on NBC. All right? You're supposed to pick two people, two fights, sorry, two, you're supposed to pick two fights and try and predict how those fights will turn out if they're worth your while to watch or not. So we're going to look at the first of all of those fights there. We're going to go through each individual fight and we're going to try and predict if they're going to be exciting, if they're going to be boring, if they're going to be a mismatch, right? So the first fight we're going to look at is Andre Fedosov versus Lenroy Thomas. It's a heavyweight fight. And... Andre Fedosov, he has 26 wins, 21 by knockout, 3 losses. Lenroy Thomas has 19 wins, 9 knockouts, and 3 losses. Seems evenly matched. Andre Fedosov seems to have a little bit more experience. This is what it seems to show. I don't know if it's true or not. All right, let's go through our 7 criteria. The criteria we're going to use is we're going to look at their styles, their skills, their weight, their record, their ranking, their history, and their level of competition. We can take weight out of the way because both are heavyweights. Let's look at their style, shall we? So here's Lenroy Thomas. Here's Andre Fedostov. Okay. Andre Fedostov was last fight. His last fight was against Nat Heaven. Okay. There's Nat Heaven. All right. The big, tall, 6'6", six, six, I think he is. All right. Let's get into the fight. All right. We're into the fight. It's just begun. Okay. Style. Fedosov's style seems to be a pressure fighting style. He's almost started off. You can see that Nat Haven, who's the black guy, and Fedosov, who's the white guy, you can see Nat Haven is sticking and moving. That's all he's doing, throwing that jab and moving. And Fedosov's coming the inside with a leaping left hook. Okay? All right, let's look at his skill. He's blocking most of Nat Haven's or Heaven's stuff. All right. But he's not playing around. He's coming in. He seems to have a pressure fighting style. And he's cutting off the ring as well. Ooh, wow. Wow. So you can see he's pretty intense. All right. Let's look at Lenroy Thomas. Lenroy Thomas' style. Lenroy Thomas looks like he's a southpaw. Yep, he's a southpaw. Begins with his jab. He's fighting a guy called Jason Estrada. Yep, just threw a body punch there. And then threw another jab. Just working everything off the jab and circling Estrada. Estrada throws his own jab. He's a shorter guy. Uh, Lenroy Thomas, he's about 6'4". Ooh, just, oh, wow. He caught it with a body punch and then a head punch. Now, Estrada, just for your guys' information, he's not really a, a power puncher. But he's catching this guy clean with some straight right, uh, some right hooks. And overhand rights. Headbutt there. Aha. Uh -huh. So we already see that Lenroy Thomas, he's getting back to the ropes. Ooh, and he's getting hit. Hmm. Alright. So, hmm. It seems like the shorter guy is again trying to get on the inside and pressure fight. And the taller guy, he's trying to stay on the outside. Which tells me, just by watching this very briefly, that Lenroy Thomas has a very similar style to Nat Haven, except Nat Haven's orthodox. Lenroy Thomas, he's southpaw. So Nat Haven or Nat Heaven, he's trying to keep distance. He's not trying to stay. He's not trying to have the fight on the outside. He's trying to um, on the inside. He's trying to have it on the outside. There's the one two. Pressure fighter, Andre Fedosov, he's stalking him, and he's trying to get it to fight on the inside. Okay, just in case you don't see the similarities, I'm going to actually play so you can see the styles. All right, this is Leroy Thomas. This is Nat Haven versus Andre Fedosov. So he's trying to stay on the outside. Nice jab, by the way. Ooh, wow. Ooh, 
Nice right hook. Caught him on the side of the head. Left hook. Ooh, and he's down. See, there you go. Pressure fighting him. He's on the outside as well. You can see the very, very, very similar fighting styles. Very, very similar fighting styles. Woo, wobble him again. Wow. Feta stuff don't play. Wow. See? Very similar fighting styles. So Feta stuff's basically going to be fighting a guy with a very similar style to this guy who he's fighting here. Very similar fighting style. All right, you guys can see it visually. Oh, that guy just got floored, and he's flush out. Wow. So you can see, you can see that basically, just looking at styles, Lenroy Thomas is just custom made for uh, Andre Fedosov. All right, let's look at their records. So we looked at styles, and definitely Lenroy Thomas, he's custom made for Fedosov. And um, let's look now at their records. So we looked at styles, skills wise, skill wise. Um, uh, you know, I, I guess Lenroy Thomas, he's a boxer. Uh, you can't say he's a puncher because he doesn't have much knockouts. And Fedosov is more of a pressure fighter because those airmuffs are on. He seems to be very good in blocking punches and so on. So probably the skill sets are about the same, but their styles really match up to cause Fedosov to knock out Thomas. He looks like a knockout waiting to happen. Let's look at their records. First, their ranking. Let's look at ranking first. Ranking. Leroy Thomas, 130. Fedosov, 40. So for, Andre Fedosov is ranked higher than Len Lenroy Thomas. He has more fights than Lenroy Thomas. Thomas has 19. He doesn't have any much, not much knockouts. And he's been knocked out twice. Fedosov has 21 knockouts out of his 26. He's been knocked out once. Okay. Both of them have lost three fights. Fedosov started in 2003, he has a lot of fights in Russia, he's lost once, then he loses to, wow, he's got a win over Lionel Butler, that's a guy who fought um, Oliver McCall and Lennox Lewis, Lance Whitaker fought Oliver, Oliver McCall, he got a split decision win over, well, that's a close decision, uh, so that loss was really close, you can see uh, Fedosov got uh, one judge gave it for Fedosov, two judges gave it to, ooh, barely gave it to uh, Lance Whitaker. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, he lost to Brian Jennings. I watched that fight. Actually, he, he wasn't knocked out or anything. It was just that his eye was swollen shut. It was actually a pretty competitive fight. As you can see here, 56-58, he was trailing by two points with this guy. It's more like this kind of fight. They have it wider here, but I don't agree. But that's what they had. It was competitive, though. It was a competitive fight. And as we all know, Brian Jennings, he's going to be facing Vladimir Klitschko this, uh, this summer. So, um, actually this April, I think it's this month, he's going to face Klitschko. So there you go. So Leroy Thomas, I've got to be honest with you, just based on styles, skills, the record, the ranking, you know, um, just based on that alone, I see Fedosov knocking out Leroy Thomas. The other factors are level of competition. We already see the level of competition for Fedosov is probably way beyond Lenroy Thomas. Yeah, no notable names up in here. Okay? He doesn't even have as much experience. He's not been in boxing long enough. He hasn't had enough fights. He's lost by knockout. He's been knocked out by a guy called Aaron Lyons and Dominic Brazil. Both in the fourth round. He hasn't even gone 12 rounds. He's never gone for 12 rounds. So, I mean, this guy, he's not experienced enough. I don't think he's ready for a guy like Fedosov. I mean, I think it's a six-rounder. I think the competition is a six-round competition, but still, nonetheless, I don't think he's going to last that long. So here's my prediction. This is a mismatch. It's going to be exciting in the sense that you're going to have a knockout, and you're going to see one guy just dominate the other guy. I think Fedosov is going to 
knock out uh, Lenroy Thomas somewhere around the first to the second round. This fight will be over, and um, we'll go on to something else. So that's my prediction about this fight. If you want to watch, you can. Um, it's going to be exciting in the sense that you're going to see a knockout. And um, we'll wait till Friday to see if that's so. So you guys, that's my prediction for this fight. If you guys picked uh, these two to check out, you did your homework, probably you come to the same conclusion. Friday night, we'll see. Until then, you guys have a great day.